Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention? Uh, I met uh, Sumera about four or five years ago on New TV and she just wowed me. And the reason she wowed me is because she is for empowerment of Muslim women, of educating Muslim women, and one of the reasons I'm here is because my mother graduated in 1936 in India, 80 years ago. I lost my father when I was eight. My mother went to Africa to earn the money so I could come here. So empowering women is the most important thing. If you educate a man, you educate a man. If you educate a woman, you educate the family. So. It is really a great, great pleasure for me to be a patron and to support this initiative of helping the Rohingya people. My father was actually born in Myanmar in 1908. Of course, my father, grandfather was a medical doctor in Rangoon and my father was born there. So all I want to say to you is, I'm a Christian but I'm a great supporter of the Muslim community. And I have, I'm also a chawal wala. I'm not a roti wala, I'm a chawal wala, so, right? So I've got in next to me our most amazing Muslim gentleman. His name is Rashid Gatrat. He's a consultant at Warsaw General Hospital. He has worked as a cons, please be quiet. Please be quiet. Listen. 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 Right? He is a wonderful Muslim. He has not taken his salary for the last 10 years as a consultant. He gives it to charity. Right? Now, if you want to know a true Muslim, he is one. Why did he give the money to charity? Because his son had leukemia. And he promised to God, to Allah, that if his son got better, he would do charity work. He has raised one and a half million pounds over the last 25 years. Wow. For charity. He has written this book about his life and he has raised 40,000 pounds selling 350 books. 40, and it's all going for the Rohingya people. He is actually funding Sumera and a colleague to go to Bangladesh. So what I would like to do is to say to you, this book has been selling for 500 pounds. I can't match the chap who was here before. He was a professional fundraiser. But as a special price, we only brought 12 books. And I have paid 100 pounds for this book to give to a friend. So for you, a special discount rate of 25 quid. So if anyone wants it, first come, first serve. So it is all going to the Muslim, Muslim hands. All that money is going to Muslim hands. So here is a gentleman who has dedicated his life. I just want him to say a few words about his work with the Rohingya. Thank you, Paul. Much more than I deserve. Thank you very much. Uh, I should take credit for a lot of the work that my charity, which is the International Aid Trust, has done. I've worked with me, my elder brother, who has traveled around the world and he has been to various countries over the last 80 years. So over the last uh, 20 years, he's been to 80 countries. Now, very recently, two years, two weeks ago, I was in Malawi, where I was doing humanitarian work. And he was in uh, Bangladesh doing the sort of work that you guys have been uh, listening to this evening. He delivered 10,000 first class blankets. Each one was 10 pounds each. So we delivered 10,000 blankets, which is roughly uh, 10, 100,000 pounds. So a lot of credit goes to my friend Aslam Khaja. Uh, but thank you very much for 
the accolades that you've given us, and thank you very much for inviting us. We'll certainly continue to uh, support the Rohingyas, either through Muslim, uh, Muslim hands or through any other charity that works with us. Salam so,